Next up is Andy, a former school principal who's tried hard at dating, but grades his own love life as incomplete. Welcome to First Date Restaurant. How are you? I'm fine. I'm Andy. I want to get married. Um, I want to live with someone. I do want to meet the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Given my age, I think that is one of my fears when I meet someone for the first time, is that they'll think I'm too old for them. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm hoping that on this date, I meet someone that there's a mutual spark with, and that at the end of the date, it's a person I want to kiss goodnight that wants to kiss me goodnight. All right, have a seat over here. Thank you so much. It's your first time being on a blind date? In a very, very long time. Okay. What makes you uh, want to try one again? Um, just, I'm ready. Yeah. Welcome to First Date Restaurant. Thank you. I love the color of your jacket, even the shirt is beautiful. Thank you, my mother beautiful. picked it out. Your mother picked it out. <laughs> This is your date? Hi. 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 No, give me a hug. <laughs> How, How are, are you? you? Good. Good. Nice to meet you. Your name? Jason. Jason. I'm Andy. Andy. Yeah, names are important. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jason. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Andy's date is Jason, a sales manager who worries that he's aged out of the dating market and the chance to find true love. I got gray early. I don't feel like I'm 42 the way the 20-year-olds make me feel like I'm so old. I'm not that old. Gentlemen, we're ready to get you seated. All right. Okay. I think in the gay community, as you get older, it is significantly harder to date. Most people want to date someone younger than them. Gay men are ageist. Are you from Chicago originally? Suburbs. 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 Graduated from Highland Park High School, and then I've been in the city ever since. And that's been how long? Probably 20 years. How old are, how old are you? I'm 49. Yeah. With age comes wisdom. So what made you decide to meet me tonight? My mother. Really? I talked about my mother when I walked in and met the maitre d'. He complimented me on my outfit and I was like, my mother picked it out. <laughs> when if you can't laugh on the first date and just open up to one another and be honest with each other, then I have a really hard time imagining what the second or third date is gonna be like. All right, I want to ask you a question. When did you come out? Freshman year of college. Was it hard? Yeah. Especially because I was a second grade teacher. Did you think the people ladies. were going to think you were a pedophile? Yep. I was terrified. I know. I, I've always feared that, too, terrified. whenever I taught people. I'm like, they're going to think I'm doing something terrible to their children, which is ridiculous. When did you come out? When I was 16. My parents sent me to a counselor, and I and the counselor decided that we would just keep it a secret. I think I was 23 years old. I came home from college. I took my dad for a walk, and I don't know if he really knew how powerful it was, but he like literally looked at me and was like, well, you're a man now. It's like, you figured that out. But then he said, let's not tell your mom. So I just had like these chills go through me because I came out twice. Did you really? The first time I came out, when I was 19, my mom asked me two or three questions, and then we never spoke of it again. I saw how hard it was on them. And so you keep it inside. And so I went back into the closet. I know exactly how you feel. I, it's exactly the story you told. My mother has decided as she's gotten older that it is ultra chic to have a gay son and she wants me to get married. And now that it's legal to get married, she really wants me to get married. I, I wouldn't tell my mother that this was tonight. She'd pester me. <laughs> Did you think in your lifetime we would see gay no. marriage legalized? I didn't either. The Supreme Court thing coming out, yeah, right? And I'm like in front of my TV, like just bawling. I just, cried just too. Bawling. I'm posting on Facebook and I'm crying and I'm just thinking, oh my God, finally, finally. Never in my life did I think I would live to see this day. Never. I just wanted to feel like I was accepted. I mean, I really like, I enjoy holding someone's hand when I walk down the street. I like, love watching people hold hands down yeah. the street. You don't do it? I don't have someone to do it with, but I would. Okay, that's a good answer. In a big city where there's so many guys that you could possibly meet, and you walk down the street, <laughs> damn you.
you walk down the street and you you know you're still alone and you know that you just want to connect with someone. I'm actually having a really good time. Yeah. We do. We have a lot in common. I know. Like even our coming out stories are similar. Yeah. I'm a lot more lonely in a big city full of people and possibilities and realizing that it's not happening for me than I would be if I were back home in Ohio <laughs> where there's like six or seven gay people. <laughs> no offense, Ohio. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. It's a milkshake and a chocolate cake. With two cake. straws. Yeah, that's a little cheesy. <laughs> Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm good. Okay, there you go. It's a good night, right? <laughs> the flowers are wilting, but I'm not. I felt a spark. I don't know, am I like crazy grinning? I don't know. <laughs> no, I wanna buy you dinner, please. If you'll go out with me again. You're charming as hell, and I'm so excited about seeing you again. You're very attractive. Now I'm blushing again, as are you. Uh, I yeah. feel the same way. That was nice. Yeah, it was really nice. Can I give you a, sh a little kiss? Oh my god, yeah. Honestly, by by the time the milkshake with the two straws came, I'd, I, I really just kind of wanted to go outside and give you a kiss. Yeah, well, it's a good thing you did. Because I was waiting for it. <laughs> it was nice. It was so nice. And you're good at it. <laughs> this is the strangest experience I ever. Know. <laughs> yeah. I'm like blown away by how well everything went.